Hi, thanks for joining us today. In this video we're going to take a look at the new improvements and revamp we have undertaken within Vertex BD for version 29. In this video we're going to look at our smart model system. Let's take a look at how the smart model system works. First, let's add some walls and create a small interior room with a door. Once we've completed that, we then select the elements we just created. We then right click and select Smart Model and the Save option. The new Smart Model window will be displayed where we can give an ID and a name to the Smart Model. Once these have been entered, we then select the OK button to save the Smart Model. Within the Model tree, you can find the Smart Models you have available within the active projects you are working on. Let's add another copy of our smart model to the existing project. Go to the sub project drop down as shown and select the smart model option from within here. Find and select the smart model as required and select OK. Once selected, the smart model will be ready to place with predefined reference geometry. So we will change the reference point and add it to the project as shown. Now we have two of our smart models within our active project. We can hide the upper layers of this project and you can then see both smart models we applied to our ground floor. As you can see, the giants are included with each new smart model applied into the active project. This feature helps you to speed up the process of creating projects where you have many of the same rooms, features, etc. Let's add a new object to our existing smart model. This will showcase adding new objects to already existing smart models and updating them. First, we place our new object into our smart model. We then select our existing smart model as shown, right click, select smart model from the drop down, and choose connect parts. We then select our newly added object and then right click again and within smart model choose save smart model again. Then as you can see the second smart model we created has not yet been updated and exists as the original still. At this point we can leave that smart model as is or we can choose to update that one to match our new updated one. This can be done as shown by selecting the smart model and then updating via the check for updates option. Let's add some panels to the smart model. Firstly, we create and generate our panels as we usually would. And we then repeat the process of connecting these to our smart model in the same way we did with our previous object addition. We then save the smart model again and re-update the other smart model as required also. You can quickly and easily select your smart models by selecting the blue cross as shown. Let's have a look at an example with a floor panel. Here we will showcase how you can use this functionality in standardized panels such as sub-assemblies. First, as shown, we select our required objects for our smart model and save these as a new smart model, adding the name details as required. Once complete, we select the blue cross to select our newly created smart model which we then open for editing purposes. Our selected smart models reference is shown as a different marking color, making it easy to distinguish. With our smart model object selected, we can then change the profiles to another slightly smaller one. We can also use the new add part cutout zone functionality and apply this to our smart model too. To make sure we don't lose our profiles when we generate parts again for our main floor panels, we make sure our profiles as part of our smart model are not updatable. We then save and close and go back to the main floor panel view again. 
here we can see the new smart model we created. As you can see, if we change the framing spacing, our smart model ignores these global changes due to us having previously made sure our smart model is non updatable during its creation. Let's select the smart model subassembly we created and change it to another one. We simply select our existing smart model and then from within the drop down, we select another as required. The software then replaces our previous subassembly with our new selection and fully updates everything within the flooring panel. Now, as you can see, there are two types of the same subassemblies in our floor panel. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for our next.